Hallelujah. A lot of other places you could be, like Brother Philip was talking about earlier. Amen. We could be in a rest home somewhere. In a hospital with a bunch of tubes running out of us. Amen. Amen. But we're blessed. We're able to be in God's house. Amen. We're blessed that we still live in a country that we got the freedom that we can gather together and lift up Jesus' name. Amen. Not only on the inside, we can do it outside too, folks. Oh. Amen. We don't have to keep it inside the church. We're able to talk about Jesus on the streets in this country. We do got a little bit of freedom, Brother Billy. Amen. We need to take advantage of our freedom. Amen. We need to be lifting him up. Amen. Obeying him, doing his work, amen, that he's called us to do. Amen. I was praying today and asking the Lord what he'd have me to bring tonight. And I got to going over the Ten Commandments. Uh-oh. Amen. Yeah. And I got down to the number five where it says, to honor thy father and thy mother. Yeah. And Brother Billy, I got the thing in there probably not a one of us in there ain't broke yet. Come on. Somewhere down the road. Sometime or another, yeah. Sometime or another, yeah. we broke that one. Amen. Amen. We didn't really give honor like we ought to give them. Amen. 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 That's the first commandment was a condition on. It was a promise. Yeah. Amen. Turn with me to Ephesians, the sixth chapter. Ephesians 6 and 1 says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment of a promise, that it may be well with, with thee, and thou mayest live long on this earth. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Obey our parents. Ever said, you know, and, and we broke that one. Like yeah. I said, we didn't always obey. I didn't. I know y'all didn't either. Amen. We didn't always obey. But but that, that's happened ever since mankind. Yeah. Disobedience is what's keeping a lot of people from going to heaven. Being disobedient is what's going to keep a lot of people, it's going to cause them to miss it. See, that's what happened way back there in Genesis in the garden. Yeah. God told them. Said you can eat of every tree in the garden. Amen. But of the one that's in the midst of the garden said, Don't touch of that tree. Come on. But because of their old disobedience, that's the reason they got kicked out. Honey, disobedience has always been going on. We gotta learn to obey God's word. Amen. Amen. We're gonna have to learn to do what God tells us to do. Amen. Be obedient to it. Honey, I know that I'm innocent. Amen. I don't I don't worship him like I ought to worship him. Come on. Amen. 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 I don't pray like I ought to pray. Amen. Yeah. I don't seek him like I ought to seek him. That's, that's disobedience. Come on. We're disobeying God's word when we're not doing what God tells us to do. Amen. This is our this is what he tells us to do. This is what we gotta live by. Yeah. It ain't good enough just to be a hearer of his word. Amen. James 1 22 said, Be you a doer of his word, not a hearer only, deceiving your own self. Amen. We gotta be a doer. Amen. We gotta start getting applying this word to our life. Start living it. Start becoming this word. Amen. Come on. Let it get down inside of us. Amen. Let it move on the inside of us. Amen. Well, we got we got to learn to obey, amen. But ever since mankind, we've been disobeying. Yeah. And we still do. We still been we're still disobedient to God's word. Come on. Amen. There's people disobeying God's word tonight because they're not here. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Amen. God has probably spoke to somebody today and told them that we, hey, they're gonna have church at their fourth Lord ministers. Come on. And, uh, and, and, and they're gonna have church down there tonight. And they said, Well, I'm too tired. Come on. I work too talk long. Don't really feel like going. Yeah. Hey, I've said that. Come on. I've said that today, matter of fact. <laughs> Amen. 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 I said it today. I'm really tired. Really don't feel like going. Amen. Come on. It ain't got nothing to do with your feelings. Amen. Yeah. Amen. His words, if we are to, uh, even more so as we see today approaching, similar yeah. stuff together. Amen. Yeah. We need to be assembling ourselves together and start lifting up Jesus. Amen. I can get more here than I can get home and watch the TV. Come Amen. On. I may not feel all that good in, in, in body, but I'm telling you what, my spirit is feeling something. Amen. Come on. There's something that's stirring in this place. Whoa. Amen. Because we're obedient to God's word. If we'll be obedient, honey, he'll blame the blessings down upon us. Amen. Amen. But he wants somebody to obey him. Come on. Well, he's want he's want the people that's gonna he's gonna have a people that's gonna obey him, honey. If you ain't gonna obey him, you ain't gonna be around long. Come on. Because that's what he wants. That's what he got. We gotta be obedient to God. Amen. We gotta learn to obey his word. Amen. We gotta learn to seek him, brother. Yeah. We gotta learn to be a doer. 
Not just to hear. It ain't good enough just to come and hear His Word. Amen? It, 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 you never got saved if, I, if all you done was heard a preacher say, well, you need to repent. Yeah. Come to an altar, repent, get saved. You just heard it and you never done nothing. Yeah. You never got saved. But because you acted that. on that Word. Yeah. Because you put some action in that word, amen. And, and stepped out and and, and 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 come and repent it and give your life to Jesus. That's reading your own way to heaven, amen. amen. Because you're a doer of his word. We gotta be a doer, amen. First Samuel 15, 22. And Samuel said it. Have thy Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifice as it is obedient to the voice of the Lord. Be, behold, to obey is better than a sacrifice. And how can I do it? I'm again. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Yeah. Amen. That's what he wants. He wants our obedience. Amen. He's, done, he's made the sacrifice. Amen. Now, there's nothing that else we can do. We can't sacrifice nothing to make it to heaven. But if we obey him, and, and we'll trust Him. We'll step out on His Word. Honey, we'll make it. Amen. But we're going to have to learn to be obedient to His Word. We're going to have to learn to, to live and, and do what He tells us to do or we ain't going to make it. Amen. It's just that simple. We can't make it on just our... See, He said, He did endure to the end. The same shall be Come on. saved. Amen. We haven't made it yet. We still got some enduring to do. Brother Rodney, I haven't made it yet. Amen. I still got some enduring. I still got to be obedient to God's Word. Amen. I still got to... And there's a lot of people to preach it. If you got saved 40 years ago, then you can live like you want to and you can still make it. Honey, you can't make it like that. Come Honey, on. we got to be obedient to His Word. we got to live it. we got to try to line our life up to it. And I know ain't none of us perfect. Amen. Ain't none of us going to you know, be perfect on everything, but we got to try to walk it as close as we know how. Amen. we got to be striving to get there. Amen. Striving to get to that 100 fold. Amen. We ain't none of us made it yet. Amen. But He didn't do it to the end. we still got to be dear. we got to be obedient. Amen. Colossians 3. And 22 it says, Servants obey in all things your masters, accepting to, to the place, not with eye service and man pleasure, but in sickness of heart fearing God. And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as the Lord. And not unto men. Know that the, that of the Lord you shall receive the rewards of the inheritance of your servant, Lord Jesus, Lord Christ. But he that do where shall receive for his wrong which he have done, and there is no respect of person. Amen. We gotta do everything we can do. To be obedient to God's word. He's no respecter of person. If we don't do what he tells us to do, honey, we ain't gonna make it. If we don't obey what God tells us to do, step out and do what he wants us to do, we ain't gonna make it. It's that simple, amen. We gotta be doers. Hebrews 13. I'm gonna jump around with you a little bit tonight. Hebrews 13 and 17. Obey them that have the rules over you and submit yourself for they watch for your soul as they that most give an account that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is the unprofitable of Jesus. For, unprofitable for you. Obey them that have rules over you. Obey your pastors. Amen. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. We got people that's, that's supposed to be above us, that's leaders, <clears throat> that, 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 that's trying for us to make it. We got to be obedient. We got to learn to come under them. We can't be above them. We can't try to overrule them, but we got to learn to be obedient and, and, and do. Because see, they're going to be recounted for us. 
Brother Billy, it, it, the blood's going to be on his head for this church. He's the pastor of this church. He's, he's the one that's going to give account for every soul that comes to this church. He's the one that gives account for anybody he left behind his pulpit. He's the one that's going to give account that anything happens in this church, he's responsible for. Because God has given him rules over. But we, as Christians, have to be obedient. You have to be obedient to your pastor. You have to be obedient to the ones that, that, that's over us. Amen. Turn over to Acts. I don't know why, but I'm having a hard time. Praise the Lord, anyway. Amen. It's going to be all right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Acts 5, 27. And when he had brought them and sent them before the council, and the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we try to command you that you should not teach in this name? And behold, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intentionally to bring them, bring these men's blood upon us. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and, and said, We obey. We ought to obey God rather than men. Amen. We got to obey God rather yeah. than men. Amen. Amen. Here they was, they were getting ready to be put in prison. Yeah. All because they was preaching in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They was preaching the truth. Amen. That's that's what that's happening in a lot of countries today. Amen. In these countries over here, there's people getting put to death and in prison. Come on. For obeying God. Amen. For preaching the truth, honey. It's a obedience will get you in trouble. Amen. I mean, disobedience will get you in trouble. We got to obey God's word. What if, what if uh, Noah, when he built the ark, yeah. disobeyed God? So well, I'll build it every way you want me to build it, but I'm going to leave this one little board out. Yeah. Because he's giving instructions. He told him how to build it, how wide to build it, how high to build it, everything about it. He told him how to build it. Come on. But if he said, "No, I'm going, I'm going to do all of it, but this one." One little board I'm fixing to leave out. That thing went, went down like Titanic. Amen. But because he was obedient to what God told him, to him and his family was saved. I mean, that's what it's going to take for us. We've got to be obedient to God's Word. Amen. Come on. We've got to be obedient to His Word. Amen. That's the Amen. only way we're going to make it, to be obedient. Amen. Moses, when he got to almost to the promised land, God told him to speak to the rock. But Moses said he could smoke the rock. Yeah. And when he hit that rock, it cost him not to be able to go to the promised land. On account of disobedience. On account of dis disobedience. Jonah ended up in the belly of the whale. On account of disobedience. How did it, if we don't obey him, we're not going to make it either. He's no respecter of person. Amen. He wants us to do it the way he tells us to do it. Amen. Not the way man puts it down. Amen. How man tells us to do it. Amen. I was even going to read that. And I was thinking about this today. I was going to read that scripture it's over in Genesis. But I done lost the third chapter of Genesis. Of my Bible. You know what I got to thinking, Brother Bill? I said, now I know how it feels Come on. to have an NIV. Yeah. <laughs> Part of it gone. Amen. Yeah. Come I'm on. thankful that I got the old page of King James Version. Amen. 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 I may have to switch to my other one to get my chapters back. But I, yeah. But I'm thankful that I got the true word of God. Amen. amen. I'm thankful that, that it'll lead us and guide us and direct us into all truth. Amen. But we got to be obedient to it. Amen. We've got to learn to obey whatever God wants us to do. We've got to be willing to step out. Amen. amen. Sometimes we've got to get out of our comfort zone. Amen. Sometimes we don't want to step out. Come on. Because so, we, we, we're comfortable, comfortable where we're at. Amen. Yeah. But sometimes we've got to step out of it. Whatever God wants. Whatever he wants in my life, that's what I want to be, Brother Bill. That's my prayer, amen. I want to be obedient to him, amen. Oh, hallelujah. Not, not follow man, not, not do whatever man in the country wants me to do. Honey, there are churches that affect you if you go in and do it the way you, they want to do it, amen. There, there, there are churches that I could pastor if I do it the way they want to do it, amen. Yeah. But I can't do it. i got to be obedient to God, amen. amen. i got to be open. He's the one that called me. He's the one that died on Calvary for Come me, on. amen. And when he called me, he told me to preach this, amen. He didn't tell me to water it down, amen. He told me to preach the true word of God. Amen.